friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a really fun, easy, inexpensive DIY. So let's get started. For this project, I will be using two of the garden fence pieces from Dollar Tree. And to attach them together, I'm going to be using some of the short black zip ties from Dollar Tree. And I'll also be using a pair of wire cutters and a pair of scissors. First I'm going to use my wire cutters to snip off the little connecting pieces that are on the sides of both of the fence pieces. And I would highly recommend wearing some eye protection when you do this because when you snip them off they go flying. I'm going to be laying mine one on top of the other like this so I want to cut off those stakes at the bottom of one of the fence pieces and I'm going to leave them on the other one. There are several ways that you could put this together. One is to put the bottom edges together like this and um, that would look nice. I just kind of liked it better the other way so I'm going to do it that way but you could totally do this and you would definitely want to leave those stakes on the one so you would have something to tie them together with. So now I'm going to connect these together using my zip ties and I'm going to do it on the area where they kind of overlap there in the center and I'm going to put a zip tie on each side and then one in the middle and even with just these three zip ties if you tighten them up nice and snug then it will hold this together really well. Once I have those on, I'm going to use a pair of scissors and snip off the excess zip tie. Since the fence pieces I bought were kind of a brown color, I decided to take some black spray paint. This is just some Rust-Oleum that I picked up at Walmart and I am spraying the whole piece with black and this will help those zip ties just to disappear because everything will be the same color. And once this first coat of paint dried I did turn it around so that I was spraying kind of from the top down and I gave it a second coat just to make sure I had all of the little nooks and crannies all covered. And I love how this paint made this look. It really gave it that real iron look. Next I'm going to take three small vases that I picked up at thrift stores and I think I paid probably a dollar or less for each one of these and they're just a random vases they don't match and that's the look I was going for but you could totally get three vases or four vases that are the same um, however many you want to put on this. Then I'm going to use the same black zip ties and I am going to put a zip tie at the top of the neck of the each vase uh, and so you want a vase that kind of flares out at the top so that the zip tie will hold it on. I actually got the idea for this piece from one that I had seen on the Kirkland's website and they wanted $40 for it. It was much simpler looking and this one I made for $6 plus the cost of my paint. So here I am putting a zip tie around the bottom of this vase and then I do also put zip ties around the center of the other two vases just kind of where it will hold them on and I am actually going to remove those later but they're going to kind of help secure them in place for when I add a little bit of glue. 
So now that I have the vases in place, I am going to use some strong glue, and you could use E6000. I'm going to be using this Weld Bond and give that a try. And just a strong glue that will adhere to the glass and the plastic, and um, I'm just putting that on the bottom of the vase uh, where it is against the fence piece, and you want a glue that will dry clear. So here you can see the glue where it is on the back of that vase, but it will dry clear and then you really won't be able to see it. If you are new to my channel and you like DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. That way you won't miss out on any upcoming DIYs. Once that glue is all set up and I let mine dry overnight, then I'm just snipping off those lower zip ties. I'm going to leave the ones that are up at the top of the vases and um, just take off the other ones that were holding the vases in place. I, I wasn't comfortable with not having the zip ties on there. I didn't want to just rely on glue for these vases. At first I was going to leave that zip tie around the bottom of that vase on the right hand side, but I decided I wanted them all to match and not have that one zip tie on there. So I did end up gluing that vase and removing that zip tie as well. I did not put a hanger on the back of mine. I just hung it up on some nails. I would recommend using black nails or screws to hang this up but isn't this beautiful and these are fake flowers from Dollar Tree but it would look amazing with some fresh flowers in it. I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel to grow and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button and stick around. Thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a blessed day.